The Philippine economy will be left behind by other countries if it will still remain as stagnant due to the existing quarantine protocols, according to Presidential Advisor for Entrepreneurship, Secretary Joey Concepcion. Concepcion pointed out that most of the businesses affected by the current restrictions are airline companies as well as hotels and restaurants, which also have limited operations for over two years due to the pandemic. He reiterates his call to the government to revisit and study the COVID-19 quarantine protocols and reflect on current developments in hopes to reconsider gradual phase-out of COVID-19 containment policies. As we see Omicron start to uh, subside, then maybe we can move towards a gradual phase-out of our quarantine in the country. We will really try to engage with the uh, uh, IDF on, on starting to study this whole uh, gradual move towards uh, um, the removal of quarantine. It, we can't continue to lock ourselves out. We can't continue to restrict uh, movement. We definitely uh, have to open up the economy. Concepcion added that the country should already move from enforcing a facility-based quarantine to home-based quarantine. We're not also suggesting that we implement the no quarantine immediately. What I'm uh, proposing to our IATF uh, members is just a gradual move towards, to me, the removal of quarantine in the Philippines and moving towards home quarantine rather than facility-based quarantine. Because my own view is that it has not actually helped us from preventing Delta or Omicron from entering the country. Concepcion based his proposal on what is being done in other countries such as Thailand, Switzerland, and the United States where quarantine is no longer mandatory, especially for fully vaccinated people and their constituents are almost living a normal life. But we should think about it. I, I believe that eventually, uh, as you have seen in the news, Thailand, Switzerland has started to open up now. Some of them are removing their quarantine and seeing how people uh, are coping now with uh, COVID-19 in America and, and specifically in the Bay Area. I've noticed that uh, basically everybody is wearing masks. Uh, they are definitely conscious about, uh, you know, the, uh, the need to prevent themselves from getting sick, but they live a normal life. No, there's a lot of movement. Uh, uh, and um, people have accepted that. Meanwhile, according to acting presidential spokesperson Carlo Nograles, the proposed phase-out of quarantine protocols needs to be carefully studied because not all implementations in other countries are also applicable in the Philippines. The presidential spokesperson explains that all implemented protocols are required in accordance with the recommendation and scientific basis of health experts. Uh, lahat ng mga uh, suggestions naman po ay uh, pinag-aaralan natin sa IATF. No? Uh, then of course, tinitingnan din po natin yung mga ginagawang practices ng other countries. We benchmark also with the practices of other countries. But we're also mindful na dapat um, it's not a one-size-fits-all for all countries. Kailangan tingnan mo kasi yung konteksto no? ng bansa. Siyempre, base rin po sa mga suggestions, recommendations sa mga health experts natin. So lahat based on uh, science and data. Janice and Hente, UNTV, News and Rescue. We serve the people, we give glory to God.